not live. We are coming to you from the past. Uh, we are entering your ear canals. We are binary jazz. You have heard about us. Otherwise, how did you find us? Uh, check us out, binaryjazz.us on the internet. We link to places, places that you've clearly found since you're listening to this. Um, if you need to describe the genre for your band, we can help with that. If you need help with other things, you know, reach out and if it's reasonable, you know, maybe we'll do what we can. Uh, as always, joined by my friends, uh, Chris, Allison, uh, they're on the internet, but I'm gonna make you work to find them, binaryjazz.us. Uh, it's okay, I don't think we have Google Analytics, so we won't know that you visited the site to, to find us on Twitter or wherever else we link to. Uh, and I'm Gary, and the premise of the show is Allison brings a topic. We hotly debate it or ignore it entirely for most of the show. In the final minutes, we find out what the topic is, and then we fade off into the sunset. Thanks for being here. I would like to send a plug, since you mentioned uh, Genre Nader, or you didn't actually mention it by name, but you referred to it obliquely, um, that... Uh, so Somebody, yeah. uh, somebody, uh, a, a engineering program student, front end engineering program student used uh, the Genronator API to create a little React app, uh, which you can get to at the hyphen scene dot vercel dot app slash, was that it? No, that's, yeah, that's it. The scene maybe we'll, dot maybe we'll dot put a link in the show notes. <laughs> we will, we will, but I want to spell it out anyway. Um, and it's pretty neat. It uses our API to generate stories and you can get a, you can just shuffle the stories and you can save your favorite genre nader stories. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So it sounds like it's time to make breaking changes on the genre. Exactly. That's what it, <laughs> that's what it means. Or is it time for our next bot creation? Well, we did get a request I... for a random chord generator. Random chord generator? Random chord so generator. Funny. I um I at some point in uh, my heavier WordPress development days um, at a meetup started mocking up a plugin that played an audio file. Uh, as part of query monitor. So you oh, could geez. tell, yeah, but it, it was seated with the, the output of, um, oh yeah, so query monitor has like the idea of like warnings and well, not warnings and errors or PHP ideas, but query monitor handles them in different ways and like slow queries and stuff. And so you could hear audibly if you had made a change that was uh, uh, significant to the performance of uh, page load. <laughs> Boom, boom. It was it was <laughs> dumb, um, uh, and it was not very Western music feeling at all. It was it was even when it was good, it was dissonant and discomfortable. Uh, discomfortable, uncomfortable. So so uncomfortable, it was discomfortable. <laughs> um, but also, I was doing a lot of stupid stuff with audio at the time. Uh, famously, <laughs> where we where we all worked, I I was assigned to the site rebuild project for the company oh. where we had been at. Um, but there was no back end work. So I had like, you know, several hours a week allocated and nothing to do. So sitting at the meetup one night, I uh, was, we were working on a logo train and I said, aha, a train. We should have train <laughs> sounds. <laughs> so if you scrolled over the trains, logo trains, uh, admin thing, it played a train sound. Unless you were one user uh, and then one out of a hundred times for that user, instead of playing a train sound, it would play a fart sound. <laughs> And people so that say was my, technology is going to ruin the world. <laughs> so that was my contribution to that company's uh, site. And, uh, and my the contribution train, I was the naming train. it the logo train. <laughs> was it? Really? All right. I'm so I'm so glad I got to work on it then. I, I Well, I didn't actually get to work on it. I just looked and I'm like, oh, we have a logo train. I should add a train sound. Um, right. And uh uh, and, and so sitting in the back seat of this meetup, not the back, not like it was a bus or anything. I was in the back row. There were multiple people in the back seats and, uh, I don't know what the topic was, but I was distracted and I thought I had turned the sound off or really low. And then the middle of the presentation, it goes, wah, <laughs> this train sound. And I was it basically sounds like you're trolling whoever's 
giving a lecture. It was, it was super bad timing. Yeah. And I was like, my face <laughs> went red. And then I muted and kept on working because it was like SEO or something. And I, I mean, like I was there for moral support, but I wasn't. No one listens there. to the SEO talks. <laughs> I, we had a, I was just talking to this, um, having this conversation with someone uh, a couple hours ago about meetups. And there's this like content donut. What a weird segue to start with. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, there's always this content donut when you think about tech meetups because there's like, there's the entry level stuff that everyone needs. And then there's like the advanced stuff. But like, there's this section where everybody needs a ladder to get from, like, I'm here. And there's this content donut that doesn't actually speak to me. Like, this stuff is over my head still. This stuff is below me. So this, this donut hole. But donut holes are a bad example because those are edible. This is actually the absence of content. The absence of a donut hole. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, I want some donuts. Except now. that there is there is a path on either side of the donut to get to the top. Okay, so a donut's the wrong food, but like whatever, man. Like work with me. Jeez. <laughs> how about how about how about an air sandwich? Slices, yeah, two slices of bread with nothing in between. <laughs> mm, that's funny. I don't know. I it was two hours ago. Perhaps I was just thinking about donuts and I needed a way to justify talking about donuts. Probably. probably that was, that's more likely. <laughs> we'll never know. I just want some donuts. Um, yeah. How have y'all been? All right. I'm still yeah. inhaling smoke. I mean, that's yeah. a thing. Same. <laughs> yeah. I should have, that's how I should have started greetings from the hellscape. <laughs> Like yeah. that's that's it. I except you're not in the I, hellscape. It just it's just everyone else. I was actually invited yeah. to North Carolina by by the other person in North Carolina that I know saying like, "Hey, Chris, like, there's no there's no fires here. There's no smoke here. If you want to come by, we actually have had a minor fire burning nearby. But like, it's I mean, like I say that, and like I could I was aware of it by smell this morning, but certainly nothing like happened in the last. It just it it did briefly make me think. How happy I am to be somewhere where uh, development is a natural fire break because there are enormous parking lots. Well, us safe. Yeah, or something stupid um, like I don't know. I just, Utah, Salt Lake City in particular gets uh, winter inversions, which is when the pollution just sits above our heads uh, because of the formation of the mountain range. Um, but like when it rains, it clears out the pollution and that's what you come to expect because like, oh, it's raining. That means the air is going to be clear for a couple of days and we can go outside. Was it, and... was it John Smith, the founder of Mormonism? Joseph. Name? Joseph. I knew it was something like completely unmemorable. Like John Smith is, uh, from the Pocahontas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> probably so related, Joseph. probably, probably Joseph's brother. Probably somewhat related. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like colonialism. Married, married to the same sister. Uh, um, Joseph anyway, Smith um, picked a hell of a spot. Like, oh, a bowl. This would be great. What could go wrong here? Yeah, that's fair. Um, anyway. Wait, is it raining um, now or no? Yes. So it's raining now. However, because the smoke is coming in from California and Washington and Oregon and British Columbia, and it's all sort of combining in this storm front that is now sitting on top of our heads, the mm. rainstorm is actually storming smoke like in keeping the smoke in the area which is uh so rather than cleaning the air it's actually just putting like it's as if you like tried to wipe up uh a a spill like you spilled your coffee and and so you've got the coffee rag and then you just put the coffee rag on your head that's that's <laughs> basically what we have with smoke That's I I I would watch a, a weather report with you. <laughs> with that's, you that's it. That's it. I, I need I need to learn meteorology and and no, 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 don't. That's so I weird. would like Chris to wear a green shirt every time, but like like maybe like three quarter length sleeve, like short sleeve, like tank top, uh, maybe just a speedo. But so like he blends in in different ways to the map. Maybe one time, like the entire like Zorb suit. So like it's like it's not like it's just like ripples in the map, or like some floating eyeballs. Map of the USA, and then just the yeah. face floating. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right over here, and he's gesturing, but you can't see because he's wearing <laughs> green gloves. I mean, I, I yeah, apparently I missed my call. Harry and I are going to start our own TV network and hire you. <laughs> You're darn right. right, we are. All right, yep, I'll do it. 
We'll do it Weird Al style. I mean, if we just changed the concept of green screen to black screen and just put like a black curtain behind me, uh, yeah. then like I would already sort of, you know, you be already blending the in. Yeah. yeah. It'd be this floating head with the word geek underneath, but like the ears yeah. would be cut off. <laughs> Robin was watching me do my laundry because he's anyway, long story, but um, <laughs> waiting for the laundry basically. And um, was like, all your clothing is black. And I was just like, yeah. <laughs> you just I, was like, I, have How few, I have a few pops of color in there, but just like generally, if you were to reach into the, the laundry and mm -hmm. pull something out, you have a 95 chance of it being a black garment of clothing. <laughs> I, am, I am fairly proud that uh basically since college i have ventured into other colors yeah it's hard like slowly over time there have been other colors inserted into the wardrobe only sp only specific colors there's no there's yeah. no yellow and there's no purple there's nothing uh <laughs> there's nothing overly, leaving the house overly bright yeah i have like six black shirt options in varying sleeve lengths and thicknesses based on the weather and blue jeans. Oh, and my vans. It's nice to like settle into a uniform though. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, yes. And then yes. you just know whatever you choose out of the closet you're fine with. Like, it's, yeah, there's no, it's just, that's like, I have a color palette and I'm like, no, no, if anything I choose and combine, it will all work because it's within this color palette. Right. And I own a brown belt right now. Why did I buy a brown belt? I don't know why you brought a brown belt. Wait. Brown belt, brown belt, brown belt. Brown belt, brown belt. Brown Why did you buy a brown belt? Why did you buy a brown belt? Why did you buy? <laughs> Which brings us to our topic today. Brown belts. <laughs> brown belts. Uh, the topic for today is agastopia. A-G-A-S-T-O-P-I-A. -A. Yeah, correct. No. What? Agastopia. Well, as we all know, Stopia <laughs> is a part of a flower. <laughs> Agus uh, is a uh, traditionally uh, German name. Oh, no, actually it would be Aga, wouldn't it? Aga, Aga, oh, no, that's Agra. Well, Stopia, Aga. or Topia is obviously like, like uh, a great place, like Zootopia, yeah. Utopia. I mean, I guess not a great place, a place, just a place, because there's also dystopia. <laughs> Those are the three Hell, examples. Those are the three, <laughs> three main topia. topia, utopia. So, so you're, and you're really leaning dystopia. into this topia thing and not stopia, is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But then there's also topography. Yeah, you're actually, yeah, yeah. which is also I think you're right. a study of a place. So, Agus is a topia with agates, a place where you can agates? find agates. Yes. <laughs> Agastopia. That's probably wrong. Agate. That would be an agatopia. <laughs> yeah. Completely separate. <laughs> I found agatopia. Oh, you know what I was thinking in my head was hagistopia. And that's not a great place to be. That's also no, gonna... a very different place. I don't want to go to hagistopia. hagistopia. <laughs> Something about Dyson Spears, I'm sure, applies there. Like. Part of the let's go back to donuts that's like more pleasant donut topia donut topia it sounds like the uh that sounds like the donut shop we're gonna open mm -hmm. donut topia donut topia charlotte has this shirt and it's green oh wow chroma key in real life and it's got a dinosaur on it but like half of the dinosaur's head is like its face and stuff are pink and the dinosaur itself is green so it sort of blends into the background the first time i saw it i thought it was a worm like with an eyeball floating above it until I realized it was the, like there was actually a dinosaur on the shirt. And I just couldn't see it. Um, so um, I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but it was uh, it was really uh, I don't know. Like I looked at the shirt and like you just like, thought life, she was a lot more punk rock than. <laughs> well, I'm like I said something about a worm on her shirt, and she was like, "Dad, it's a dinosaur." And I also say dinosaur. Don't be ridiculous, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I say dinosaur to harass her. And for a while, she would correct me like, it's not dinosaur, it's dinosaur. But now I say it and she's just like, ah. and, uh, and honestly. Start him off young yeah. with those dad jokes. 
Yeah, I, yeah, she, she loves and hates it all at the same time. Yeah. That's, that's the sign that you're doing it correctly. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening with this wire. Oh, okay, I see. It's, it's actually <laughs> you just cut out completely once you lift it up. <laughs> it's like a flash that like the laptop falls over. No more audio. I guess it goes to the, like a screen. Yeah, it goes to that like color screen, you know, like you get before like something tunes in. Yeah. And that's Agus Tokyo. Uh is it is it just another word for office? No. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> it, it is like a um a word you're not gonna know. Like it's a crossword puzzle word. With the... I think we've made that clear. <laughs> No, but I mean, like, you're you're not gonna like have used it in a sentence, or I mean, even yeah, Spell doesn't funny. know what it is. It's it's telling me that that it's wrong. What is it going to suggest? Oh, Gastonia is what it suggests instead of Agastonia. Oh, that's only like uh, forty minutes from me. 40, 40 minutes west of me, Gastonia. <laughs> is that is it the land where they make gas? I mean, it's there's there's like Gast nothing remarkable there. Welcome to Gastonia. You should Google it the and see if there's anything interesting there. I don't want to know what Gastonia is known for. Other than Gaston. Gaston. I don't know if we caught the video of my son walking through shirtless. I did see. I was not commenting, but but you commented, so you know. I it just Wait, Gastonia me up. is also a type of dinosaur. Learning new things. Wait, really? Where was it yeah. discovered? According to Wikipedia, Utah. Yeah, probably. Um, mm -hmm. Wait, nineteen ninety-eight. Seems on. awfully recent. Estonia <laughs> dinosaur. There it is. It didn't give me the disambiguation. Oh wow! Look at that. They finally fixed some stuff in Gutenberg. Okay, sorry. This is this is really it was Are you multitasking, for, I, Chris? <laughs> I was I was preparing our post. I was setting up the format with all the stupid blocks. We should we should really just write a template for it. But. I can confirm uh, that uh, this uh, dinosaur was discovered in Utah. As yeah, most of them. Just yeah, all of them. I mean, it's just, that was just where like the, their bones floated to. Yep. Floated. <laughs> Well, it's true because because it was all underwater. I mean, they're, they're... I just I immediately picture floating just in the air. Because that's <laughs> no, we... <what> <laughs> it's like that's spooky, just like weird. But they're not ghosts; they're just bones. It would be so much more fun if they were ghosts, though. Dinosaur ghosts. <laughs> yeah, why I mean, are there no dinosaur ghosts? They just they didn't have any unfinished business. And they were like, yeah, we we had a good run you that that was a bad thing to say now i'm on like the D, &D <laughs> thought train going down gonna make some undead dinosaurs that's a really fascinating question though why are there no dinosaur ghosts yeah so maybe that's what the loch ness monster is a dinosaur ghost yeah hmm. it would hmm. explain a lot i mean as far as anything goes in my universe i mean i've always sort of thought i've always sort of thought that the loch ness monster was just sort of a you know something that didn't actually go extinct like a stick <laughs> no <laughs> like you know one of those large uh prehistoric aquatic creatures and it just didn't die Right, like right. so, it's like the last pleosaur that's yeah. just like. Yeah. I guess I'm just. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I'm just chilling. He's just, in, <laughs> just like hi, I'm Doug, and, um, and I'm lonely, the last. and lonely. Yeah. Maybe, How maybe lonely? there's a very small community of last. And they just take turns. Children, it would make a good and horrifying surfacing. children's book. <laughs> good and horrifying. Well, like just like. A really sad plot is like a group of the, like the last dinosaurs, and they're all mm -hmm. just like, "Hey." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there is um, what was that book? Um, Danny and the Dinosaur, I think. Is that a thing? 
um, where Lucky. where a boy goes to um, a like natural history museum and there's a dinosaur there and he stays after the museum closes and he like says hi to the dinosaur and the dinosaur says hi back and then the dinosaur just like takes him around on his back and they go to various places and they hang out with all of his friends and everybody's like super stoked about the dinosaur and there's a there's a part where like they slide down the dinosaur's back like a slide i totally um, remember this and and then the dinosaur's like okay well i have to go back home now and so he goes back to the museum uh, at the end and and goes back to being like a dinosaur statue i guess Megastopia. <laughs> the land of the dinosaurs. Wow. That would be something. I did actually insert a dinosaur into my D&D campaign. I will say that. Like, was it a this, ghost dinosaur? It wasn't a ghost. <laughs> not yet. Not not the not last yet. Not, well, not yet. Yeah, if you then if you if you that's that's why dinosaur. that's why that segue is not that far off because we do have undead things in the game and we have now had a dinosaur in the game. So Undead dinosaur, I'm saying. Dinosaur. Apologize to your D and D players. Yeah, that was that was it was very good because it taught them the importance of running. <laughs> it's, it's like, like we're gonna stick at this out, we're gonna fight all these things, even though it's like we're super overpowered. Like, oh, dinosaur, bye. <laughs> Run. Which is the appropriate response when you're confronted with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Just see ya. Bye. Uh, Agistopia um, is uh, not relating to haggis, and it doesn't relate to agates. Uh, uh, I don't know what aga aga would be. What is aga, Gary? Or maybe it's, it's aga, land aga, of aga Gary. Sounds. It's a land of baby sounds because aga is a sound that a baby makes. And so you go to Agistopia and it is just baby sounds 24 7. That sounds like my nightmare. It's not aga though. Like that's the thing. It's aga, agus, agus. Because we've decided multiple that it's not baby stopia. sounds. Multiple baby sounds. It's the plural? Agistopia. Wouldn't or that maybe be it's aghast? Aghast. Agastopia? Ag yeah. It's the land of very surprised people. <laughs> Not pleasantly either. Not just, pleasantly <gasps> surprised people. Yeah. As if you were, uh, uh, you know, confronted with a, uh, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I gasped. Yeah. Topia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Cloud, it's Friday? Yes. It's, it, it feels like a Friday. It feels like I need a Friday. It's going to be a Friday. It felt like or perhaps I, I, I just told, de didn't eat enough food this morning, and I'm. I told you all uh, this uh, in Slack, but I have not told the listeners. It felt like a Friday since Tuesday, so like every other day this week has just been like another day this week. Another Friday. <laughs> <laughs> like, is it, is it Friday yet today? No, is it Friday yet today? It's like it's like I used to have a, I used to have a record back when you know kids had records uh because i had a record player back I never you know, when kids record. when kids had record players and it was i had all these like kids records um and oh are you talking about, like the thick plastic ones like the no uh, well Fisher some, price record player? some of some of them were thick plastic. That some of them were actual vinyl um and i don't i don't even remember what this was but it was some sort of like I mean, there's all sorts of like audio play sorts of things and like like kids shows, but on vinyl. Um, and one of them, there's like this crazy professor. No, there's like this crazy professor and these two little kids that I don't know. I guess we're hanging out with him or something. Uh, maybe he's a crazy uncle. I don't know. Uh, but he kind of talks like this. Um, oh, and <laughs> <laughs> hi, kids. Um, like a really crazy. Uh, uh, clown, I guess. Uh, if anyway, you weren't sure that it was the eccentric uncle, then you're it, like, oh, that yeah, seals it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and there's a section where one of them, it was, it was their birthday was coming up, and so there's this whole song about like waiting for their birthday, and each verse was, and it was him 
And he was like, so it was the boy and he's talking to his mom and he goes in, is today my birthday? No, today is such and such day. I'm going to get your cake today. Is today my birthday? No, today is la, 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 and I'm doing this thing. Is today my, and like just on and on and on, like for like seven verses or something, <laughs> probably seven verses because it's like a full week, right? Uh, and then like, and then- uh, You're telling the story. It ends, it ends uh, with like, yes, today is your birthday or something. Um, and so that was, that's, that's like the week waiting for Friday. Is today a Friday? No, today is Tuesday. You still have to work today. Is today um, a Friday? <laughs> Charlotte likes us to sing her a song on Twitter a bit. So, you know, Twinkle Twinkle or the Bear or the Mountain or whatever. And there was a stage where she would, we would finish and she would go womp womp at the end of her song before bedtime. <laughs> Love this kid. Such a sad trombone moment. She's like, oh, that's it. <laughs> and it was, I mean, the first time she did it, I'm like, ouch. I was like, was I singing that bad? Or like, what? But it's just like, it's, it's, there's no commitment to it. She says, womp, womp, and then goes to bed. And it's like, okay. That's it's just, that's, that's just means good night. The, it, it really turns out, and maybe, maybe this isn't like a truism or not at least in our house, it's true. The third kid is like, um, just like a own special, unique personality. Like with Ty and Katie, there was very clearly like some similarities. Like Charlotte's like, no, rewriting the rule book. Good luck. <laughs> um, I don't have any data to compare that to, but I'll we'll take your word, word for it. She, she is. I wonder, do you think- something. What's the age difference between your first two? Uh, they're only two years apart. Actually, like a year and a half ish. I wonder. And is there a more significant difference between them and Charlotte? Oh yeah. So Charlotte. Uh, yeah. Was well, 2013 and Charlotte was 2020. So. Yeah. Yeah. Not so that's def that's what, definitely what, what, a no. Thing 2020. Good lord. 2018. I was like, how? 2020. <laughs> nope. Nope. I did that year for some reason sticks in my head. I don't know why. It's not like anything happened in 2020. <laughs> Nothing at all. Um, yeah, well, I think I think definitely like youngest child when they're, I had an English teacher that went on this whole, like gave a lecture about like the interpersonal family dynamic differences between uh, like children mm -hmm. in families and like the first child has this these sets of issues and the second child has these sets of issues and the third child has these and then the youngest versus the oldest and whatever um yeah. and it was really fascinating it had nothing to do with anything i don't think but it's just stuck with me for years um but i do i do think that there's a thing there about like the youngest kid when there is a difference in age, there's, there's a more significant age gap between them and their siblings um that that becomes sort of a different thing um but I was going to say, like, um, because there's significant uh, personality differences, and maybe they weren't as apparent when they were little um, between our kids, and they're like two years apart. Um, like significant, like, like extrovert versus introvert sort of differences, you know, like, um, but again, like, it might not have been as apparent when they were like two and four versus now when they're 16 and turning 14 you know <clears throat> can't believe they're i don't I, understand time <laughs> yeah time <laughs> it, time is an agistopia it is it really is um I, I look at like my siblings and uh so i mentally compare my younger brother with charlotte and uh okay that's cool except like i look at his high school years and i'm like Oh shit. <laughs> That's it. That's the story. Um well it's that time. Womp, womp, but louder. <laughs> and I'll be the one saying it. <laughs> it's that time uh where uh, we get to learn what Agistopia actually is. Okay. Agistopia is an admiration of a particular part of someone's body. What? Often fed it often fetishized. <laughs> You're welcome. So, what? <laughs> so not a place and a little uncomfortable. <laughs> so maybe not something to use. What's this? <laughs> I thought we could use the last bit of time 
uh, to uh, play a stupid Zoom game. Uh, there's Zoom games? There's Zoom apps now. Yep. Um, I don't know if you all you both can see it, um, but I can just read these because nobody's going to nobody's gonna hear them anyway, and we can just go through them. Uh, and I don't know like if it sees that everybody's a player either, so we could just like just ask them as like random questions. Um, I think you just ask me as random questions because it's requiring me to sign in, and I don't know how to do that. Yeah, don't worry about it. Um, okay, so uh, the question is, where would you spend all of your time if you could? And the options are bed, favorite restaurant, favorite beach, or favorite hiking trail. And I guess the idea is they're supposed to guess what other people uh, are going to say, but I think for our purposes, we could just like, you know, where would you spend all of your time if you could? I feel like my answer is guessable. Uh, beach. Say bigger trail. Yeah, no, that's probably right. Allison's probably right. Yeah. <laughs> um, I would go between trail and beach, but bed's tempting too. Like in the perfect scenario, like if I could spend enough time at a beach and not be sunburned or whatever, then mm. beach. Sure. Um, yeah, I feel like hiking trail implies like hiking. I mean, like, not that I don't like hiking, but like, if you're on a favorite hiking trail and you're spending all of your time there, then like, you're always hiking. And I don't know that I want to always be hiking. <laughs> like, it sounds very, like that would hurt. It's very Greek myth. Like, a, is it Sisyphus? Mm -hmm. Yep, pushing the something up the hill, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, um, if you this enjoy it, if you're in a friends to join the game. Oh, there it goes. I, uh, yeah, I definitely feel like I, I'm almost there anyway, most with most mornings starting the same walk. I really, I really like that silliness of doing the exact same walk every day. There's something magical about that. I like that idea. Well, there is a thing, um, like one of the things the kids did in, in their outdoor ed class thing uh, that they've been doing um, is you get sit spots and you just go to the same sit spot, like, and just sit there for like 45 minutes or whatever. Um, and just, you know, sit and listen and observe and see the things. And, and the idea is like, that, like, over time, you get to notice the differences in the way things change over time. If you go into the same place and, and like, you know, today there is this type of animal or like, you know, I was extra quiet and now, and then I saw a deer come by or something. Um, like mm -hmm. there's a, that's a, that's a thing. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, if you had to read an entire dictionary entry, what letter would you choose? And there's there's options here, but like I feel like we could just like pick one of the twenty. Isn't that kind of arbitrary? <laughs> yeah, I mean it's sort of it, there is Z and A, and then there's like random things in between. But like I think probably there's like I mean there's a limited finite number of options anyway. What letter would you choose to read? R. Higher. R. R Y. Because there's a lot of words that start with re, so I feel like I'd be double dipping. I would get a lot of R words, but then also the re whatever words. So it feels like cheating. I get to read a bunch of words. I'd go A for Allison. Mm. Mm. I feel like, uh, well, I, I, I used to do this and like I would pick the most obscure letter. So I would, I would do like X. You. Oh. Uh, um, and I probably would do that again. I'd probably do like X or Z, but probably X, because there's not a lot of X Char words, and the X words are just really weird. X Charles was working on her <laughs> letters on uh, Monday, and so we're like, here's the letter A, here's a picture of, and it's like, you know, a a alligator. And then like we went through like, are these, what, what do these things start with A? And it was like an apple, an alligator, a car, and like, I don't know, something else. So she's like, a a apple, a a alligator, a a car. At, I'm like, wait, wait, time out, time out. Like, let's back up. Like, the car, not an A, right? She's like, I like whatever, man. Like, I don't know why you're so. I, you're the one that cares about this. Like, I don't care. I was like, we were just riffing. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I thought, I thought you just wanted to make that sound before you said things. Like, I can do that. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like, kind of getting the pattern, but not really getting the pattern. Yeah. Yeah, kids are the best. <laughs> kids are the best. Um, 
this one might be this one might be uh fun to to guess uh other people do you still have your wisdom teeth or do collectively oh. each other yeah <laughs> do we collectively all have our wisdom do teeth? i have allison's wisdom teeth <laughs> yes does, Al- <laughs> does allison still have her wisdom teeth gary do you think yes i, I assume that everyone does because i still do but i don't think that's actually true <laughs> I do not have my wisdom teeth. Okay. They are gone. I what already if I was I like, my... I have them, but they're in a jar? <laughs> Does that count? I know. I was hoping for like that technicality. Like, of course, I still have them, just not my mouth. Just not in my mouth. Um, I, I, uh, I had mine pulled relatively recently, like right after I left WDS, before I started at Tribe. So not very long ago. And uh, was that written uh, on your and, arm right there? When you... No, my watch was telling me something. Uh, yeah. You're like, I, I, notes, I, notes, notes, I just left. Uh, <laughs> teeth topic. I have a record of all my dental procedures on my arm. No, that's tattooed on the inside. Um, the uh, uh, the dentist was like, you're very old for still having wisdom teeth and getting them pulled. And I think I was like, you know, 36 or something. I was ancient. Like I should have like been taking my walker into the dentist chair or something. And uh, uh, he's like, the recovery is going to be much harder. And I don't think it was that bad actually. But um, anyway, I... Uh, when they took this one on the bottom left, uh, it it caused like numbness. And so I went, like I went, he's like, you know, let me know if you have any problems. So I called him like, hey, I was like numbness. And I came in, I took a little poker thing and he's like, do you feel that? I'm like, no, do you feel that? No, he's like, well, yeah, I guess you have some numbness there. Like apparently he's like, you know, drew blood. You're like, Maybe, that's whatever. what I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, literally why I came here. He's like, give it a few more weeks. And if it doesn't go away, let me know. And I gave it a few more weeks, it didn't go, go away. I called him, he's like, I, I don't think it's gonna come back. All right. So along that side of my mouth, I have numbness and it's still there years later. How many wisdom teeth did you have? Uh, uh, I think just two. Oh, wait. I don't remember the top. The bottoms were terrible. I don't remember if I had the top done or not, honestly. I just know the bottoms were like, oh, terrible. Terrible. But I've also had some weird teeth issues through. I had extra teeth as a kid. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. My roommate in high school had eight wisdom teeth. Jeez. Oh. And she had to get them removed. And everyone was just like, are you a shark? Like, what? <laughs> what? But do they come, like, for eight, do they come from the back? I mean, that's like, geez. How do you? It's just a, seems like a lot of extra teeth. <laughs> yes, yeah, that is a lot of extra teeth. Um, yeah, I, I, I was very reluctant to get them removed, even though I, I knew I needed to, because of, like this one was causing me pain and, you know, hard to clean and whatnot and uh but i had extra teeth as a kid so i had oral surgery and when they took this this tooth out whatever the canine here um the bone here came with it so Mm. then i had to get a bone graft and so like you know my teens like i had a bone graft but that also meant like well you can't do any like sports or anything because if you get hit by a ball like that will malform the squishy bone stuff we squirted in there Uh. and uh (laughs) oh yeah oh yeah it's pretty fantastic this opened uh, up a whole cave of neuroses i didn't know i had <laughs> yeah yeah incidentally this is why i don't like the dentist because i had extra teeth and they were just like uh yeah we can take care of that like grab like a hammer and went at it you know it's just this her would never be a dentist oh my god right so i i had a in my chart my orthodontist i had a note uh that uh if you hit my gag reflex i was likely to bite you uh which was i i was a known biter it wasn't on purpose it was just i like I would chomp down and I couldn't help it, but I'm sure that wasn't pleasant. Thank you for listening to Binary Jazz. If you like this episode, you can subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, and Stitcher. You can visit us online at binaryjazz.us or follow us on Twitter at, at binaryjazz. Don't forget that you can ask us a question through the forum on the website or on Twitter, and we'll read it aloud on the next episode of Binary Jazz.